<laughs> Hi guys, welcome to our next video. Today we will be studying on importing files into After Effects. Like I said on the previous video, this is also another important part. And After Effects was built in such a way that it is compatible with other softwares, especially other creative softwares and mostly Adobe products, okay? And so if you are using After Effects, you can get to use Illustrator files, you can get to use Photoshop files, things like that. So After Effects has made it so easy. And that is what we are going to be learning today. And that's not just it. We are going to be importing media files also, like your video clips, your images. I think those are the basics, okay? You just name it. That's what we are going to be doing in today's video. So without wasting much time, let us begin. So let's just take a look at it. So we see the various file formats we can select. So what you want to do, I think you can use command I to import. But if you are importing from Windows, use control I. Okay, control I. So I'll just say file. So when I say file, there are different kinds of file you want to import. Different kinds of file. Okay. So we have different formats here. That's one good thing about After Effects. Different format. Like I said, you can import um, MP3 also, PNG, a lot. So one interesting one here is Cinema 4D file. So if you are somebody that is not too good with 3D, if you are not too good with 3D, you can import this um, Cinema 4D importer. Okay, you can use that to import 3D models. Okay, and there's also what we call motion graphics templates. Okay, you can import them and edit them here. Okay, most times they are in um, a format different from your um, JPEG and the rest. Okay, this is a format that is compatible. Even if it's a template, it has to be compatible with what? With um, After Effects. So if you want to import that one, that's the format you use. So you also have MP3, you also have MPEG here, you also have WAV for your audio. There are lots of formats you can use to import. So but for this video, I'll just be trying out to import a Photoshop file. Then we'll look for our Photoshop file, which is this. So we'll just pick it and open it. And it will ask us for the option we want okay if you want to match the layers or this last option we have is important as a composition but it will retain all the layer size all the size to be retained but for importing as a composition we have our individual elements as layers okay the way they are layers in in um photoshop just like you have maybe the text maybe one text is separate from the other the same thing is going to be happening in after effects so I, I i i i recommend you use composition all right because later you might want to in animate individual text all right you might not want to animate just the mark okay you might want to admit this the text separately from the mark maybe apply different animations to it so you likely want to use um this composition option so let me just show you so that you understand more okay so when we click ok we have it here and good for us it's already named the same um, name we use in saving the photoshop file the same name is going to um, use for us so we can drag it like i said it has created its own composition and inside it there are different layers so for us to assess it we have to drag it inside our um timeline okay so when we drag it here you see that it's showing black it's showing black because we've not adjusted the things inside so you will notice something will happen when we open it when we open it we would have the layers here okay so anything we group will be inside this own composition okay you notice that we grouped these things in our photoshop file they were grouped so there's something you start noticing you notice photoshop icon here showing you that this layer is from photoshop okay so if we open this group one you see all our layers from photoshop so you'll be asking yourself why are we not seeing anything right if you remember what we did when we open the composition we can give a composition a particular color so for us to make it um transparent to come the way it is from photoshop or to appear the way it was in photoshop we have to take off this background all right you just toggle toggle the background if you click on it if it's highlighted blue it means it will be what transparent okay it means it will be transparent so you can find all our tools and there was something i was talking about um i was saying about animation animating it separately so what you will notice is that this all these are layers they are now separate 
Zoe is separate from the Zoe Osha um, ushering agency. So if we want to perform an animation, we can perform to this one separately. Okay. Unlike perf um, perform an animation on the old logo. Just imagine if we exported this as maybe PNG, then we'll bring it here. We will not be able to do this thing individually. See that the flower can be animated. Maybe we can just do it. So just enter like this and just bounce in here. So this is possible with using Photoshop files. If we go back, we have other ones here. So you guess what we can do now? We can take off this background. Still in that project. It's just like importing the entire project. Okay. So if I show you the Photoshop project now, you would see that it is the same thing. It has the essence of knowing the different file formats. And trust me, you can also import 3D models. We'll deal with that maybe on a separate course. Okay. And I think I would likely visit it maybe on a separate course when we are doing um maybe um after effects, maybe for VFX. Okay, we might treat all those um importing 3D models like 3D cars into it. Um that will have to do with VFX, okay? So in such case, you can also import such files. So that's it for importing files into After Effects. I believe you are now warming up to get into animation, okay? You are now warming up to get deep down into animation. That's it for today's video. On our next video, we are going to be studying, we are going to be studying our next video pre-compositions, okay? I know you've had that term for compositions, um, actually in phase one, okay? But in this sense, it's going to be in another light. So you want to stay put, okay? Don't forget to share, like this video, share to as many that would want to partake in this course, okay? Don't be stingy. Make sure you subscribe to this channel also, okay? So see you on our next video. Bye.